Thanks for joining us. We are talking to Ashesh Badani. He's Vice President of Cloud Platforms at Red Hat. Ashesh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me on. Now, Ashesh, cloud native, why is it so important for operators to adopt this new model? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a buzz right now. You know, everyone's talking about cloud native development, how it's very important for companies to adopt that. I think it's all the more so for telecom companies, for service providers to do this, uh, mostly because they just need to become much more competitive. Uh, in many ways, they're used to working in a certain way, building monolithic applications, they're established applications that are large in size, uh, and this is more about getting more agility into their environments. Uh, they're competing more and more with web scale companies. You know, we're working in the same model, so it's imperative for telecom companies uh, to get on board with that. Uh, there is some challenges to be had here, uh, mostly around stability, mostly around the expectations of quality and performance. Uh, that's put in place, maybe uh, consumers don't necessarily have the same on the web scale companies. Uh, so telecom companies necessarily have to keep that in mind. Uh, but regardless, this is the, a movement that they have to embrace fully. And can you tell us a bit more about the challenges companies face in this cloud native journey? Yeah, yeah, so what we've seen them do, uh, and this by the way true across the world at this point in time, is to just start embracing um, this change in the way uh, application and services develop, right? There's this whole notion of microservices that's come about, right? Which is really taking uh, existing large applications and then uh, just taking uh, them in smaller chunks. And as a result, you can have smaller teams work you know, more quickly than they have in the past before. Up and so microservices is really sort of an embodiment of that. There's this notion of DevOps, which is being able to have development cycles be much more rapid than they have been in the past, be able to release application and services in you know, days, if not hours, versus previous weeks or months. Uh, and then sort of all, bringing all these trends together is something that these companies can adopt by maybe having smaller teams that can interact with each other more, uh, having well-defined APIs, application programming interfaces, that internal teams can use as well as their third-party partners can engage with. So size does matter. Yeah, size matters. You know, well, size matters for telecom companies. They're large in size, but you know, sometimes within them, right, it matters to break it down uh, to become more agile. So what challenges do people face in making this transition? Where do they get hung up? Yeah, what we've often seen um, customers do is they recognize the change. Uh, they, they, uh, they know they want to adopt it. They know they want to embrace it. Uh, what happens often is they wonder, you know, what's the first step I can take? And we often say start small, right? You know, having a big bang approach to this is sometimes hard for a variety of reasons. One is it might be skills, uh, familiarity with technology, but oftentimes it's just cultural change, right? The transformation that needs to take place within organizations. Some of the companies that we work with in the communications vertical have staff of thousands of people. So maybe having, let's say, innovation teams or smaller teams take on smaller projects, become successful, set an example for others to, to watch um, and then be able to replicate that uh, at scale is something that we've seen actually become successful with many of our clients globally. So Ashesh, who's doing it well? Can you share successful stories of telcos doing it right, or at least making progress? For sure, so um, within the telecom vertical specifically, we've had success with companies like Telstra Australia, uh, X by Orange, which is one of the innovation arms of Orange, uh, doing this as well. Uh, ecosystem partners and providers like Amdocs, as well as uh, F5, have all been successful. Uh, for example, we have a, a North American uh, telecom company that's now taking its iPhones, its latest generation phone that releases, sells them on its application on the web, mission critical application obviously, that's running in this model um, off of some of the technologies that we offer. Okay, Ashesh, thank you very much. Thanks very much for your time.